Kemi Amalulu Lawyer, and this is I.J. Koze. We're still on July 8th, 2019. A lot of people don't understand the mathematical aspect of this case with Busola Dakolo and the Koze rape scandal. Busola said at one point that the pastor's wife called her to come and babysit their daughter. And then the pastor picked her up and they stopped in the bush and he had sex with her, bent her over on top of the bonnet, behind the car. She had the stories of things that didn't happen. Many of you are saying that, okay, so he didn't rape her. It was consensual, but still, that's underage sex. The fact is that it never even happened. Busola lied about it. Yes, she lied about it. Because if she said she was 17 and she was picked up by a pastor to go babysit his kid per the pastor's wife's phone call, and that the pastor's wife was told that, am I your house girl or what? At the same time, this little baby was born in 2002, Shindara. If Shindara was born in 2002, how could they have called you in 1999? Or even in 2000? Or 2001, before the baby was born? Busola didn't add her dates up properly. The pastor and his wife couldn't have kids. They prayed for kids, and three, four years later, they had a kid. From 1999 to 2002, should be three years. And even if you went to babysit that child in 2002, you were 19, 20. You were no longer underage. So this talk about he bent me over, raped me two or three times. If somebody raped you in your house, would you follow them to their house to go babysit a child? It didn't add up, Busola. It didn't add up. And then the baby wasn't born until 2002. So let's forget 1999. In 2002, you should have been possibly 20 years old. More to come on IJ Kozer. I'm Kemi Amalulu Lawyer.